Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server once again. We are in the storage room for the Iron Farm, or what will be the storage room for the Iron Farm. It's uh, pretty decorated, but there's not a lot of function going on. We, we just have the one filter box and I'd like to ha add another seven, but I don't have a spare seven. So we may actually go and see if we can sort that out today. Obu with a tier one subscription, 32 months. Thanks so much, Obu. Great to see you. Mind Trip Media also kicking off the stream with 100 bits. That means there's a hype train close with another 100 bits prime sub or tier one sub in the next minute and 30 seconds. We can kick up a hype train if people are so inclined. Appreciate it, folks. Always good to see everybody. Sweet Sandy's kicking around. Grandpa Crafter. I think I saw Dan and a few other people. Sunk Block Fallacy. So <clears throat> I've made a few changes. And we need to do a little bit of, of final touches out here. I think I want to add some of these copper pipes to the back. And we'll eventually work out how it's going to, I guess, be molded into the mountain. I don't think this is the door that I want there. I think I just kind of copied this for the sake of ease. And what I was thinking is that we could use the copper pipes. Maybe bring one of these copper pipes across here in the ground and then have it go up and across and maybe frame the door so it would be like an orange door instead of a brown door so that could be kind of cool and the other thing uh is that i have removed obviously the hole in the wall here and and filled it in although i obviously i missed a spot there uh and what i did was just to make this really easy for us i've got a hole behind the the nether portal temporarily so that leads us back to the redstone for everything and that also leads us around the back here to the redstone on this side. There's what will eventually be the stuff coming up. Uh, all of the poppies right now, by the way, are being sent into that cactus. So I've got the poppies taken care of. Uh, we've also got our poppies and iron blocks from before. And then I've got all of my shulker boxes and everything kicking around here in some small kind of spare little area. So one thing I noticed when I first logged in is that I need to repair a bunch of stuff. So I'm actually going to, uh, we're going to go to the, the, uh, not the end. We're going to go to the nether and I'm going to repair my things. Don't think there's anything else that I need. I'll bring my bow and an arrow and We're not short on ender pearls. That's good. I will bring the ender chest. And there's a couple things in here that might need repair. That doesn't have any mending on it. Neither does that. Okay. Cosmic Dancer decided to jump in. Tier 1, 73 months. Holy crap. Came here to throw my subscription at you and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> clever. Very, very clever. <clears throat> Thank you very much. And that kicked off a hype train. And then Sweet Sandy decided to jump in on the hype train with 100 bits. Thanks so much, Sandy. And thank you, Cosmic. Yeah, road trip while it's dark. Might as well, right? Because I mean, my elytra are almost done. Actually, you know what? I know there's we can fix that issue that I saw outside right now. Put that back in there. Nothing else I need to bring along. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sandy's 100 bits was trying to tell me that I missed a sub. <laughs> no, I heard it come in. I just wanted to make sure I finished what I was doing. Oh, that's the wrong way. Really just came to drop off my sub, say hi, tell Joel to have a good stream, and then make a hexy exit. 
Hi chat. Bye chat. <laughs> Exit stage left. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic. I don't remember these having walls. Is this new? This must be new. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Sad that you have to be so awesome only five minutes into the stream. Hopefully, will not be crazy loud. I'm not sure whether the new update is going to break, the new Minecraft update is going to break this farm or not. I always have trouble getting up in one of these corners. It's really annoying. Why can I not? Oh, they're still mad at me. That works out well. Well, the, the helmet's fixed already. Good old soft gold helmet. This won't take long at all. I believe that was a level one hike train. Thanks very much, folks. Just get a few bits repaired here. I wish that Minecraft would give us the ability in game sliders to control individual hostile mob sounds. That would be a good mod to add, actually. You know, it doesn't really affect gameplay, but to open up your settings and be able to see all of the hostile mobs, you know, Wither, Dragon, Zombified Piglin, all that stuff. And be able to adjust on the fly. Because people might want creepers to be 100% so you can hear them coming. And then they might want ghasts to be at like 10% because they're just so loud and shrieky. You know, I think that would be a really cool mod. There, It might exist. Does anybody know if it exists? I know Steven plays with a sound mod. But that's more like extra sound effects. Don't know why these guys are stuck. I'm not sure what the next efficient way to kill these guys would be. I guess drop them out of the zone and then kill them with a campfire or something. Or no, these guys would be fire immune, so probably wouldn't be be a thing. All right, I think that's good. I don't think we really need to sit here and stare at the, the wall for very long. I will just leave the gold for whoever's next. I don't really think that, that was enough to be important. Turn the volume back up. This place always looks so neat with shaders. Really, really fun. It's weird that it is lava. Oh, no, it's pink. I thought it was going to be glass. Oh, I remember why. Because uh, drips do not come through transparent blocks. They only do on solid blocks. So that's why we made it, made it solid blocks. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the drips. The drips are just too cool. Grandpa Crafter says I played with something like that a while back. Don't remember the name for sure, but it was something like sound control. Okay.
Wither Rose. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the thing is that you want to kill the zombie piglin fast in order to maintain the speed of the farm. So I'd have to look at some other modern zombie piglin farms to see what might be possible. I don't think I have any... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't have any spare shulker boxes in the end. We might, we might as well go check. This is something that's never seen any love on the server. Our end portal, outside of just like a little setup like this, our end portal has not had any real work done to it. No decoration, nothing. On the other side, it's a little bit better. Lots of, this is where those golems are coming from in the end. I guess I could, it's probably faster to go through one of these. I don't know if any of these are open still. I think they are all off. I think we have to fight the dragon. Yeah, they look like they're all reset. I know the outer end islands are reset. I did that when we updated to 1.21. <clears throat> it is a sad portal, Sandy. Or Dan, I agree. But I'm pretty sure I don't have spare shulker boxes here. It's a pretty fun little workroom. I really like this little room. That's a smelter. There are no shulker boxes there. Was worth checking, but no, I don't think we have any shulker boxes. Okay, I don't know whether this is still a shambles. Looks like it's been broken. I don't remember what this is for. I'm trying to remember what comes up there, and I don't remember what it is. That's the elevator to the surface. And this is all still busted up. Yeah, okay. It's not been fixed. Where are all the Endermen? This should be a pretty spawn-proof area. I guess they must be down below? Or they're in a cave somewhere. I can hear them. Hmm, weird. Okay, so we'll go to the little Endermite spot. I think that's all I need is just my Ender chest and my Ender Pearls. I guess I should have brought some extra Ender Pearls. Uh, I, I can probably check to see if there's any ender pearls at spawn i mainly just want to get uh three shulker boxes i fig figure if i can get three for the iron then that'll help us with what i want to do oh there's no pearls here that's weird Okay. Well, we'll get what we get with what we have. I feel like I'm getting an abysmal frame rate. I don't know why. It's weird. So the sound of the Enderman might be coming... Uh, might be a farm not working in the end. Uh, no, no, there was no farm. There was like, there's probably, we, we've lit up the end island so well, <clears throat> pardon me, that there is, um, there's probably a chance in the destruction from the dragons. I don't know what people were doing, but the, the end has been pretty messed up. 
and um, there's a chance that um, some of the lighting, which was just torches, has been destroyed. And so there's probably like a dark spot in the heart of the end island. And it's the only dark spot for hundreds of blocks. So it's probably that there's a bunch of Endermen all spawning there. Which is fine, actually. It means that they won't spawn on the surface. Like, if you give them a dark place to spawn down below, then they won't spawn in your way when you're fighting the dragon. So it's not a bad thing. I was just curious as to what it might be. So somewhere up here, we have a little purper pit. Uh, we've got a data pack on the server uh, for folks that don't want to fight shulkers in the end. And it's called... Uh, Endermite. Oh, look, there's stuff there too. Um, basically, it's a voodoo beard data pack that allows um, Endermites to burrow into purper. And if they do that, then they become um, shulkers and you can just fight the shulker and then get the drops so there's a couple people on the server where i think it just they they tried to go to the end to get shulkers and they kept on dying and it, just, it stopped being fun for them so we decided to do this so i just have to get a endermite to spawn it's the only tricky part I won't do this for too long. If it becomes a little bit tedious, then. Man, how many do you throw? This is the only problem, of course. What we should do is have some sort of beacon here that auto heals you. I think Alistair might have one of these locally in Avalon too. Looks like a swimming pool. I mean, if I go through all my ender pearls, I'm gonna be mad. Has they have they changed the rate at which ender mites spawn? Anybody know the percentage off the top of their head? It's only a five percent chance. Did it used to be more? I feel like they always spawn when you don't want them to. Check the wiki. Wow. Well, we won't. We'll just get what we get. If we don't get enough or any, then I'll move on. I only have so many ender pearls. I think there was a stack here, so I don't want to use that. Yeah, there is a stack there. We have shulker boxes, not shulker boxes. We've got double chests full of ender, uh, ender pearls, rather, in the end. So I should go bring some here. Definitely don't want to die either. Been 5% since 1.8, so it hasn't changed. I'm just not getting lucky. I think this is our third stack. I really wish they didn't hurt you when you teleported. That or like if you were a certain level, like if you were above level 10, like I'm on, I'm on level 9 right now, but 
If you were above level 10 or level 30, then they wouldn't hurt you. That would be a nice perk. Finally. We'll just wait. It is a lot of ender pearls. Um, we've got infinite ender pearls though because of the enderman farm in the end. So it's worth it. It's a really, it's a decent trade off. Like I could probably go to the outer end islands if we had portals open. Like if I didn't have to fight the dragon today, uh, which I don't want to do, then then we could probably uh, get them faster. I feel like I could, but it's because people on the server uh, don't enjoy that and have often lost a lot of their gear doing that. Where they die, they can't get back to where they were. Like, there's all these different things. So for some people that want to go this route, it's tedious, but I think it's a decent trade-off with the challenge of going to get it the traditional way. There might be more ender pearls in here. Don't let me forget my rocket box here. Yeah, I wanted three. I think I have at least one that we can use. I grabbed a couple from West Hill. I tested the the data pack uh, on a single player world, so I know it. I know it works. Matter of waiting. I I normally yeah. There we go. So I'll go through the last of my pearls. Just to see. Oh, we got another one. The last one. Sweet. One and three, I got two. And if I have a spare one, then that's that's job done, right? While we're waiting for him to transform, we'll just put some of this stuff away. Everybody is a pack rat on this server. Still have six myself, plus there's 16 here. basically just wait and listen oh there's monsters nearby right to wait in the dark Mad castle little castle up here looks really fun the um sea lanterns prismarine and uh purple it's a really interesting combo Obviously, it's not finished. Come on, little Endermite, do your thing. So again, you know, it's a sacrifice of Ender Pearls. It's the tedium of going back and forth. And then it's the weight. For that.
Cool. Uh, it's good. Away we go. So that'll take care of at least the iron side of things. I still haven't changed the spawn chunks region on the server for the iron farm to work while we're not there. I'm so used to portals having like a solid block behind them. You can just kind of walk straight into it and not have to worry about standing in a specific space. So we'll be able to put the shelker boxes in. Then I have to rearrange the hoppers a little bit. Weirdly, the hoppers, it, it should be a little bit, I think I have to change the way that the water stream works. The water stream is pushing the hoppers just a little bit, or pushing the items a little bit past where I want them to be. So there is a chest. So two chests will make us two more shelker boxes. And I thought I had a spare. There's one. I think the other one that I used, I think one of them I'm using for storage. And then the other one, I think, is like one of these spare shulkers. I think this is... I knew the carry-on and the satchel were my own extra storage. But I feel like the three that I brought with me, one of them is already in the farm. So we'll get the die. And I don't remember what I called the other shulker box, so we'll have to go take a look. Oh, there's a pink one too. Thank you. Iron farm. Um, I guess we could just leave it at that. I don't think it needs to be anything too crazy. Can I die that after the fact? We're going to find out. Yes. Okay, I'll fix that. So right now you can see I've got all these end hoppers being faced into this one. Because what was happening was these hoppers here at the back were getting... Like the item would flow past this hopper, even if it was just one at a time, it would flow past it. So I think what I need to do is maybe have this water be lower somehow i don't know how exactly how i do that maybe this water elevator just needs to be like over here so that this is like out of the eight blocks this is eight seven six and five so if it's a much lower stream then maybe this will not i don't want this to pull before this pulls not that it's a huge deal but i'd like it to at least work in in sequence right So those are all facing the right way. 
So what I will need to do is put those temp blocks back. I should be able to just aim like that so that these are all now facing in the right direction. So that's the final look. Right now, obviously, it's just um, ingots. But I want it to be other things. So let's turn this off. I'm going to go grab some redstone. Comparators, repeaters, dust. Maybe torches. I think that's all I need of that. And then this box. Could use composters. I could also use crafters. I also don't remember the recipe for a crafter. That makes sense. So I'll get a couple of droppers. I guess I'll make a couple of droppers. If only, <laughs> if only I was in the middle of an iron farm. Three crafters, good stuff. So I'm going to eventually change, I think, the blocks that we're putting everything on down below. Uh, Raymond nods. Hello, welcome in. Do you know a way to reduce thunder volume? Uh, the vanilla tweaks isn't working for me and it's really annoying. Um, hmm. I would, I would, if you've got the vanilla tweaks data pack or resource pack downloaded, then what I would do is um, open up the the files, open up, go into the resource, go into the vanilla tweaks resource pack and open up the audio files and reduce the volume. That's what I did. Uh, Raymond nods, no, it's a private server. I have a community server though. If you go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, you can check out the Patreon support and, um, and check out the, the, um, the community server there. The community server is called Infinity Cove. Um, I am curious to know whether we've got any golems happening right now. We do? So what I want to know... So yeah, see, we've got an iron ingot in there already. I'll take that out, put that in there. So what's happening is... We might see it. Yeah, so they get they get up high and they kind of go over this. It's not important. I just yeah, I would just like it to fill up in sequence. 
Uh, it's also not going to be iron ingots. It's going to be iron blocks. So yeah, I don't think we're going to keep this all as spruce. I think I'm going to try and make it look a little cooler. So we might make it out of deep slate or something like that. I don't want to make it out of stone, obviously, because you don't want to like mine through something that is um, not what you wanted. Just realize I need to go get a bucket as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change that dropper into a crafter and we're going to make blocks. However, what I might do is change the location of this water elevator. I guess I could snake this around. So if that's one, two, three. I could snake it around that way. Hold on. That's one block. That's two blocks. This would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not quite right. I feel like it's going to be easier to move the water elevator, even though it is nice and lined up. It's an iron farm. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just, it's one of those little things that's going to bug me. But there's no way to do it uh, unless I wanted to put things up against the edge of something. I think I have to just move that. You move the top water source and get the water to flow. Oh. Yeah, maybe. I see what you mean, Sandy. Can I move the top water source and get the water to flow over the... Yeah. Not have the top part be bubbles. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yep. I see what you're saying. Get some glass, too, I guess. I really wish those guys wouldn't show up out of the portals. I just don't want to listen to him the whole stream. An easy trap for them? Sure. Yeah, send it in the Discord. That'd be great. Thankfully, ladders, ladders block the water. So that'll come up to there. And what Sandy is suggesting is that we move the water source back. Oh, I should have brought, should have brought a torch. Oh, I had one. Darn it. <laughs> I'm not used to having shulker boxes in my inventory. I always leave them places. It's um it's vanilla with some tweaks. We've got um technically we've got mods on the server but they're they're almost all performance mods. Right. So there is that. So that's the outside. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Eight. So if I put the water source there, this could potentially do what we want it to. Uh, 
except for it's not going to flow past <clears throat> it's not going to flow past that right it's going to flow down into it i thought i could flow over the top of it i might be able to do it with signs hold on I'm still very much on autopilot in here. I keep on wanting to go out into the main room. Yeah, the, the mods we have in the server are things like 3D skin layers, armor poser, better 3D. Bobby is working now on 1.21 again uh, with continuity and sodium. Um, Enhanced block entities, things that just reduce lag, reduce RAM. But I do have some things like like Manica, Mini HUD for for building technical stuff. But a lot of it is just like UI and the map, of course. Like the map is a big is a big thing. But like it, it doesn't affect the blocks you place. It's just you know just that stuff. So if I put a sign here and remove this again, will that flow over that again? Oh, it's a waterlog sign now. Did the bubble column send it up high enough? Oh, yeah, I would say it does. So we'll have to see whether that actually works. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I like the map too. It was really helpful in planning the roads. I feel like that worked. I don't know if it's still going into the second shulker box though. I mean, the other thing we could do is just, like, lock the hopper somehow. You switched from Bobby to Distance Horizons, and you're quite pleased with the result. Yeah, I think they're still skipping. There might not be a way to fix this. Yeah, they're still skipping over. Darn it. All right. Any other thoughts on how I might be able to fix that? Because that's like that water source is about as far away as you're going to get, right? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like technically this shouldn't. Right? Yeah. Oh, I, it's not really an issue, um, Raymond Nods. It's just that I was hoping that this shulker box would fill up and then this one and then this one. What's happening is that this is filling up ahead of time. A honey block. What was the difference between Bobby and Distant Horizons, Dallara? We've got um, another mod on the server that decouples the client render distance from the server render distance. Uh, honey would slow it down. So honey under the, the water, you mean? Or honey along the side? Because it's not hitting the side, I don't think. Yeah, they do come up in the edge, though. Let's try that. Oh, I think I had honey in my... Um, I've got honey in my redstone box here. I do.
hopper chain above the hoppers and only have the first hopper open. Oh, the honey block might have done it. The honey block might have done it. Nope. <laughs> it didn't. They're definitely coming up on the side, though. Hmm. I guess the only time that this is, it's been an issue before is that, of course, um... Normally you're not having four hoppers in a row that are getting the same item, right? Pilar says I'm getting better performance from distance horizons and I like the way it blurs the distant objects. Cool. All right. I might give that a go. Thanks. Can you throw a link in the Discord if you want? That'd be great. Uh, just use the Minecraft channel. Yeah, I mean, I could put a comparator on this hopper and like only unlock that hopper. But I think, I don't think it's that this hopper is grabbing them. I think that this hopper is probably, well, no, I guess, I guess the issue is that it's getting, it's going over the thing. Oh, you know what? Um, no, cause then the water can't, if I put trapdoors up there, it's not gonna lower things. I could put a waterlogged slab above that maybe let's try that i don't so the hopper is not f the hopper can still grab it like the hopper should still be able to grab it so what i'm thinking is i'll remove this i'll put a slab above that I'll remove this again. And then I'll waterlog the slab. Is that still the water there? Yep. So now they're not going to go up as high. They're going to hit the slab. The question is, will they still flow out? How am I missing a block? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, probably the item is too high. That's my next attempt to fix it. Again, it's not a huge thing. It's just, it's one of those things where like, I should be able to do this in Minecraft. Like I should be able to figure this out. If it works the first time, I'll let it run for a bit and we'll just see. I didn't see those items at all. Nope. Didn't work. All right. It it might be just that the items are are going past the hopper, I guess. Or they're too high. Yeah, I re I really don't know. I'm not seeing them actually hit the slab either. It's hard to see. It feels like they're going up past the slab. Hmm. 
No? Okay, they're hitting the slab. But they're just still going into this second second hopper. Alright, well, we'll leave it. And we'll go and do the other thing that I want to do. Unrelated questions. Ronin or Berserker? I don't even understand the question, so sorry. Alright, so this is the filter that's pulling out the iron ingots. So all we need to do is have this go into a crafter here instead of a dropper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this water bucket here. Destroy this. So the cool thing is we don't need this auto dropper because the crafter will replace the auto dropper. So what I need is the crafter facing out this way. I'm going to destroy this hopper for now. So the crafter is going to go like that. Nope. To go down lower. Crafter is going to go like that. And the crafter is going to be fed. Oh, wait a minute. I could feed the crafter from the top, but I could also feed the crafter from the back. Okay, well, this needs a comparator. And a comparator going into it. And this needs to be a composter. And I just need to get a redstone signal back to that crafter. think that should do it right so that's going to do its thing i just need to put some moss in that Oops. This is probably going to flip this trapdoor. We've reached the end of the first hour. Thank you, Sandy. And that has to be in subtract mode. Now we just put the hopper back and test it. Hmm. So the signal strength. Takes them a while. Ah, uh, that locks the hopper.
needs a repeater to boost his signal strength. Right. I don't know if I need that dust or whether this this block will actually do it. Hopefully if two bits of iron come in it'll work. How do we get no iron from that? That seems very strange. Yeah, it's locking the hopper. So I need to do this a different way. So the redstone torch is locking that one. Um, probably. Yeah, so this is locking that hopper. That's what's happening. It's getting to a signal strength of eight. Oh, did I turn that off of... That's what I did. That was my mistake. I actually, I must have accidentally hit that. Let's try that again. Let's just put a whole bunch in here. Right, now that's the one that stays. Here down, it should be fine. Yeah, I forgot to put the the comparator in subtract mode. Cool. So that takes care of that. So for anybody that's that's wondering what's happening here, um, this is giving a signal strength. Uh, the comparator here is subtracting a full str signal strength of, I think, eight or nine from here. I should know that. Um, and then basically when this is full it's powered enough that it creates a pulse but it's always subtracting this so because it's subtracting this it doesn't have enough i would like to know where that extra iron is going it feels strange that we're getting some golems that are, i can hear dying in the distance but they are not dying yeah so this is eight and so once this has a nine minus eight equals one, but then we've amped that to go all the way around. So this just needs a one. And once it has a one, which is nine minus eight, it goes around and it hits it. So we're boosting it. Yeah. It feels like we're not getting iron ingots with every golem though. That feels really strange. I'm curious if there's any iron ingots that are being lost from that filter. There shouldn't be. Like, we should see only poppies go around the corner, right? Because there's the filter. At any rate, I need to stick to my breaks today. So uh, I'm going to step away. I'll be back in five or six minutes. Thanks again for the reminder, Sandy. And we'll pick this up where we left off.
So I can hear a golem dying now. I just want to see if there's any... Hopefully we won't pick up the items. I didn't see anything go by. I didn't see a poppy go by. I wish sometimes there was a way to detect items going past. You know? Like a light would turn on or something. But you can't really do that. There's iron. No poppies. I guess the poppy only happens every once in a while. Uh, I don't think they get stuck in the killing area, no. But we'll have to check. Alright, well I can put the water back. That'll now take iron blocks up there. But yeah, checking the killing area is not a bad idea. I really don't see anything. There's a poppy. I mean, it's just getting fired into a cactus right now. One thing that's nice, we do have free cam, so I can exactly, like, scoot in here. Sort of. Yeah, I don't really see there's any way for a, like, water's flowing over that way. There's one sign there. I don't really see any spots where it would be a problem. So there's always going to be one iron ingot in here, because as that cycles, it just leaves one behind. But it'll always empty this down to one. And it'll always empty this down to one. But because it's an infinite farm, like I'm really not worried about it. Okay, cool. So that part is functional. So we've at least got the iron farm part done. What I can do now is... Remove all this stuff. I'm just going to craft these manually just because it'll be faster. I guess I don't need the bow right now either. There doesn't appear to be anything happening in the other boxes either, so that's good. I'm not sure whether we fixed it or not.
I don't like the sound of that. Hopefully that was outside. That was a creeper falling from somewhere. Yeah, free cam really is handy. It's one of those things that I understand it's a little bit on the kind of modded side of things, but as a content creator, I feel like it kind of falls into uh, the same space as, um, what's the other one? Lightmatica and Replay Mod. Cool. I don't think there's anything going on in the hoppers. Nothing's locked or anything like that. And now instead of having, this might have fixed itself, you know, because instead of having several iron ingots coming up at a time, we're probably only ever going to have one block of iron, right? Because the iron golems aren't dropping nine or more. I think this would only be an issue if we had several cells to the iron farm and we were getting more than one block. So now, because we're only getting one item at a time, this should just fill up naturally on its own. So that's sorted. Cool. Okay. So the next thing I have to think about is how we are going to sort out all of the poppies. And I had some ideas uh, over here move some of this out of the way I guess I don't need the moss in my inventory right now so there is space here to bring up some water streams what I could do here is I could have each one of these be a filter. Like I could have a water stream come over top of this and filter out poppies, etc. And what I should probably do is just so we're clear on what I want to do here is we'll do one, two, three, four. And I'll grab poppies. Oh, I need to fill these up too. Of course. How is it you always have just one fewer inventory slot that they actually want? Right, so I need poppies and I'll need bone meal. Actually, that won't matter. Not bone meal, it's white dye. This is just for fun. I know we don't need to do this. I just want to see if I can do this. Um, Cosmic had requested, I think, that the poppies be set aside for at least a little bit. I mean, there's already a double chest. It's not like it's a big deal. But uh, these will eventually be shulker boxes when we have more. And we're going to do poppies and then the dyes so that's what's going to be in those shulker boxes so i could put everything up in one stream uh, once we have them made and just have we have enough room up here certainly for filters so we could 100 percent just have um an item another hopper layer over here have a water stream go along this block so 
we would close that up. Do I have any? I do. Right? So we close that up. We'd have more hoppers here. We would have item stream to there. Coming from probably like here. Oops. Crap. I also, I should put in another ladder here too. Where would be a convenient spot for that? Probably back here somewhere. I want to say that three oh eight, three oh seven. Don't know if six is enough. Just enough. Perfect. Okay, I might actually just make that wider. So we can do the filters. And the question is, of course, downstairs, when we do eventually get a poppy, uh, and get, like I could move some of this water stream, but it's already in place. I think the only thing I want to be conscious of is interrupting all this stuff here for the moss farm. So this is like, that's a, that's a water elevator here for the moss farm. So this goes up to the next level for all the, any kind of redstone trickery. And this is, I think a item, I think that's for bone meal. I actually don't remember what that is going to do. Yeah, that's for items being turned into bone meal I'm pretty sure and there's a drop here and that brings you down to this level again yeah there's the droppers there oh I'm in the drink and this is just for show these are supposed to be composters that do bone meal out of all the stuff that's got comes out of there but I haven't really I think it's an overflow system, so it's like it's meant to to stop and send stuff to bone meal if the moss farm is full, but we've never run the moss farm to the point where all this is full. So it's not really been a thing. Um, so I don't want to move any of this. I feel like this is a kind of cool little room, and the on-off switch for the moss farm is back here. And I I could I could move it somewhere, I guess and close this off but uh, at any rate we've got lots of space here in this area right here to filter off poppies and do things with them so we've got like there's the filter for the iron so anywhere along here i could pull out poppies i think the only thing i have to worry about is probably past that filter so i probably want to open this up a little bit and just put in a little glass 
just so we can see kind of where we are. And I might change the decor in here a little bit as well. I thought it would be fun to maybe use basalt or something for our redstone or maybe deep slate. Different paths and tunnels are fun. Yeah, no, it's cool. I just, I feel like if you're in this space, it feels very weird to then exit it in order to turn on the moss farm. I feel like I probably made this temporary. And all I really need to do is create some sort of redstone line that goes to here. And if I could do something in here, like... I thought I tried, like I wanted to press a button somewhere here. Right? You know, like turn on the moss farm. But I feel like, again, like standing here is the place where you should be able to turn on the moss farm. And maybe we put a button here and run it down and around and under and just, we could get a little bit crazy with it. But this is just such a straightforward way to turn on the redstone signal. Uh, for folks that don't know, the moss farm is way down there. So there's the moss farm over here. And so there, underneath this conduit, there is this redstone line that we're looking at. And so you turn it off and on remotely from up here, and that turns the moss farm. Just that switch just changes that. And then there's a, a wall. And then the, there's an observer at the bottom that detects it. So turning this on and off is easy enough. I don't know why there's a redstone block there. I wonder if that's part of the inside. Can't imagine why. Yeah, really is strange. Uh, yeah, we already did some stuff with the crafter earlier. Uh, dandelion. We've got a crafter block here. So when this gets iron, it's nighttime right now. I don't think the golems spawn at night. I think that's the thing. They only spawn during the day. Um, because the villagers, I think, are sleeping. So that will eventually spit out an iron block. So basically, I'd say anything after here, we could start to filter out poppies. So that could be our first filter. And so what we could do, we've got space to go uh, both down and to this area here. And so what I need to do is I need to figure out how many poppies are going to be sent to bone meal, how many poppies are going to be sent to red dye, and how many poppies are going to be sent to... Um, pink dye or I guess poppies are going to be separated into poppies red dye and bone meal and then the bone meal is going to be separated into white dye on its own and then pink dye and the hardest part I think is figuring out how many poppies to split but I think the first thing we need to do is put in the item filter so I think for now I've got to pick up this water We know that this is going to be a hopper. And this will just be the normal slice guess that grew. Uh, right, that goes like that. <laughs> Not like we need iron ore. <laughs> So 
So that would be the hopper filter. So I'll need, I don't remember how many sticks, 42, 44. Dandelion subscribed with Prime. Thanks very much, Dandelion. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch and connect, and you can join the Joel Duggan Discord in between streams. We talk about all kinds of fun stuff. I think you will have a good time. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. So before I start getting in here and doing all the redstone, maybe we should make a decision on, I kind of feel like, what would, what would look cool? So if we go down here, what would look cool replacing all of this um, spruce with something nicer? So like, I think this looks pretty neat. I think it lines up with what the farm looks like above ground. So, if I go and take a look outside, for anybody that's new here. It's a maze back here. So this is the iron farm. The golems drop in from up there. And they're melted in our melting pot. It's a pretty cool farm. And I'm just trying to think that it would be nice if I had the redstone kind of match. You, uh, redstone on smooth stone? Yeah, I could just do that too. I could just do that too. I certainly have enough stone here. I've got smooth stone somewhere. Yeah, like I could totally just do that. Acacia wouldn't be a bad idea, except for acacia is a really tough wood to get a lot of. Um, but yeah, that wouldn't be that would be a bad idea. Especially because I would probably want to do some logs. <laughs> that would be really expensive. How much acacia do I have? Eh, I've got enough. We could do it. I've got stacks. Yeah, why not? That's a good idea. I like that. I think you're what you're talking about is we could even put some copper down here if I really wanted to be extra. So you're thinking something like this? The nice thing about having that filter there is of course that nothing that's not iron is going to go down there. Hmm, I don't know. I'm wondering if we could just put the acacia on the bottom and then I'll use basalt for up here. Like maybe we just use acacia here. Oh no, it makes sense. There's a lot of acacia in what we're already doing. Uh, where's my basalt? We don't have a lot of that, but that's fine. We can always get more. Wait, we've got this. We can turn this into polished basalt. And maybe I could use like a deep slate 
polished deep slate for the corners, maybe. Again, like this is just me wanting to be able to return to this and very clearly see what's going on later. I think I like that better. This is where I have a lot of fun with my redstone. If you're going to be doing some technical stuff, sometimes it's worth it to do something cool. And then maybe we can have these also be blocks. can change those to slabs. Oh, that was a mistake. I just destroyed all my redstone. Whoops. Uh, that, subtract mode, that, and a repeater. And then I lost a repeater up top, which means that filter is not working. What I should have done was this. Looks like that's back to working. And this is just not anything anymore, as far as I know. I think that looks good. We could also change that to something else as well. And then down here, we'll throw in Acacia. Which is good because then if you're ever, if we're ever below anything, then we know anything with Acacia over top of it is uh, got water on it, right? Now this might not stay like this, but. We will figure it out. Cool. Mostly done. I'll just leave that like that for now. This is going to change anyway, so there's no, no need to make it fancy.
Cool. I like the noise the crafter makes as well. All right, now our actual redstone. Are we putting that on Acacia? I think I'd rather do it on Deep Slate. Sort of feels like circuits. So we need a filter for the poppies. Oh, sticks. Whoops. I'm forgetting. to rename them. Oh no. Goes my anvil. Sunblock fallacy. Thanks very much for the hangout and lurk. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So this can point wherever we want. I guess I'll just put it over here for now. And then comparator. Peter, these I definitely have memorized. I've done this enough. I do wish sometimes you could rotate redstone after you place it. I do have one of the data packs from Vanilla Tweaks, but it's the rotation. Oh, that's a comparator. Uh, is that what I want? Yes, that's what I want. So now what happened there? That's not long enough. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. I forgot how deep these things are. This should work. 
I probably would have worked before. Uh, I just could have used less than 44 in the filter. I don't, you know, especially because we're getting so few poppies, I probably don't need this giant overflow protection thing, but we'll use it anyway. Future proof, right? Why not? That should stop at one. Cool. And I don't want any surprises down here, so we'll just do this. Okay, so that will pull out poppies. Easy breezy, right? And I guess what we want to do then is decide along here. We've got all this space. What we're going to do with... Um, how many poppies are being sent to bone meal? So I think you have to send stuff into the top. Don't think you can send it into the side. I also need more hoppers. Composter is only from the top. Roger that. Okay. So then I have to axe that. So technically, that would just put all of the poppies directly into the composter. So what I want to do is have a hopper line going this way. And then this hopper, I probably have to space this out because otherwise it might conflict with what's happening here. So I'll put a composter there and a hopper going down into this. So this will pull from this as things go along. So if I put four of these in here, right, they all got pulled in. Nothing got down this way. But what I thought I would do is take out the poppies and then lock this hopper. So we could have a comparator off of like this hopper. And every time that that hot, we could change this into copper bulb. Because you can use copper bulbs now as T flip flops. Copper. I don't know where my copper bulbs are. Do I not have any? There they are. Those should be in here somehow. I feel like there's a better place for them. So 
So we could put a copper bulb here. And I forgot to bring moss. Because I want to use the moss to illustrate what happens, right? So the idea that I had in this creative world was we start putting stuff in here, right? Then the next time that something goes through there, right, it turns off. So if I put eight here, Oh, so it's not, hmm. I think I have to lower this again. This is the kind of thing where like, you just, your, your redstone expands because you just have to put so much distance between everything. It's very similar to Satisfactory actually. Sweet, Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Appreciate it. We'll do another hopper. And I'll do composter. And so we'll still take the comparator off of this guy. This is like, I sort of know what I'm doing here. Right, so this goes into the bulb. And then the bulb We can take a signal strength off of that. And essentially what I want to do is every time that that has got something in it, I want to like lock one of these hoppers. So I guess I would lock that hopper. And to lock that hopper. Don't want to lock that one. So I would, yeah, if I lock, the, I'll lock that too. See, again, like you just, you run into these situations where like the hoppers get locked in different capacities. So what I want to do is basically, if there is a pop, if a poppy has gone through here into bow meal, then I want to like toggle either the water stream or the hopper. The water stream might be easier to toggle. Like I might be able to have this, instead of hitting a copper bulb, I could have it go into this is not gonna be the most elegant. But then that could be like a piston or something. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, I know it's the kind of thing like I know what I want it to do. It's just a matter of whether it's going to be elegant or not. So the other thing is that we do have the opportunity to have like, this is going to be, be a filter for poppies. 
And instead of being a filter for poppies, because there's nothing else coming in through here, this could just be a hopper that we either lock or unlock. So I could potentially take this setup and stick it there. So if I wanted to lock that hopper, hmm. Let's try that here. So if this is our water stream and this is our hopper, if I wanted to lock that hopper whenever this hopper has got something in it, then I have to get a readout off of this. And that didn't do anything. Oh, I guess it has to go in this one. And that was too fast, I guess. Yeah, see, now it's not reading it. Weird, now it's not reading that hopper at all? It worked before. Oh, it's because it's being pulled too fast before I was reading it out of this hopper. Uh, I don't, I don't know if an observer would see a change in the hopper. That's a really good question. I'm not like so steeped in redstone that I know all the answers. I know just enough to get myself in trouble. You're looking at the hopper, and then you do this to that. No, so it's not seeing anything because it's going through too quickly. Let's try that again. Yeah, it's too fast. So it's not it's not fast enough to pick it up. Leg search time? Yeah. No, I've got I'm gonna switch it up actually. We're gonna be switching over to satisfactory today. So you're right. Um and then probably a decent time for me to step away anyway, because this is just a little bit too heavy for my brain. But essentially what I'm trying to do is have the poppies be pulled out of the stream, have one poppy go into the composter and when that happens say the next poppy don't put it in the composter like send it on to uh one of two things either to become a poppy in storage or to become red dye in storage and that's easy enough uh that the, like turning things into dye for storage super simple and then once this is full it's going to spit out um bone meal and then the bone meal is going to go to white dye. And then we'll just combine the white dye with some of the red dye and make pink dye. So the biggest, the hardest part is just deciding a way to pull only some of the poppies out. And I've done it before with two water streams. And what you do is I had a piston that would basically like redirect the water stream. So you have a water stream that goes straight and you have a water stream that goes that way. And then you would just take this block and just jam it over. And so the po one poppy would go that way, you pull the piston back, and the other poppy would go this way, right? Not poppy, like item. I can't remember what it was. I think it was string for the spider farm. But 
I wanted to try to use uh, a T flip flop with the copper bulb because I thought in my, I could have sworn that when I did it, maybe I was using the actual composter. So if we do composter comparator and copper bulb, whoops. Right, so it on off, right? So you you'd fill it up, and then the next eight poppies would go past this, and then right. So then now, like we'd have we'd receive poppies, poppies would continue to come in, and then. Yeah, so it's not quite what I wanted to do. So I just, I need to figure out a way to pull out the poppies. I'm trying to do it without making a giant contraption. So um, I will probably strip this out because it's not working. And I will leave this as it is. And what we will do is replace the water, but I will also stop this filter from being a thing. Uh, I guess the easiest way to do that is just remove that and do it that way. So we can put that back if we need to, uh, and all I'll do is I'll just put the water back. And then the poppies for now will just continue to go around the corner and get destroyed in the cactus. Cool. All right, so we've got at least part of the stuff going in and really like, <laughs> I, you know, we don't need the poppies. It's just, it's a fun challenge to see if I can figure it out. But uh, we do have the iron farm pumping along and it is not overflowing it's just kind of doing its thing so this will now fill up for the server with iron blocks and so the essentials are done it's just the bells and whistles of the challenge of trying to learn how to use the crafter uh and getting into some 1.21 content is is up next so i do feel confident i can figure it out it's just a matter of deciding how how to s separate poppies like that's the big the big thing is like how do i want to separate poppies i don't think i need to do it evenly um, the first thing I need to do, I guess, is have a chest for poppies and then time this a little bit uh, on an AFK and see like how many poppies we get per hour. And I think then I could maybe decide where to, where to go from there, but it's working. I'm liking that it's working and I'm pretty satisfied with it. We have a brand new episode of the Spawn Chunks out this week. If you've not already listened, that is available at the spawnchunks.com. Myself and Pixel have talked about the latest snapshot. You can support this stream as well as other creators if you go to patreon.com. Uh, and uh, my handle on Patreon is the same here as Twitch. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. One of the best ways to support your favorite creators. It's less than a cup of coffee a month. Keeps me streaming, allows me to do extra content. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the bits. Uh, thanks for the hype train. Y'all are awesome. And do stick around. This is not the end of my stream day. This is just the end of this stream for Minecraft. We're going to switch over to Satisfactory because we're getting ready for the 1.0 drop on September 10th. So we'll be streaming probably a fair bit of Satisfactory over the next two weeks as well as we get ready for that. And uh, I'll see you back here. I'm going to say in about 10 minutes. So don't go anywhere. Talk amongst youroelves If you're watching this later on youtube.com slash Joel Duggan VODs, check out the, the uh, Satisfactory VODs. They are also in a playlist on YouTube if you are curious about that game and what I've been up to. Uh, barring that, I'll see you back here in just a few minutes.